Hi, viewers. Welcome to a new project here for the channel. I wanted to do something festive for the month of October, specifically Halloween, because it's around the corner, and I never really do anything festive for this channel. But we're gonna we're gonna do something this year because uh, I like Halloween and I like horror. Uh, as you may have looked, I got I got some horror themed video games that I do. You know, I'm a huge fan of the horror survival genre. But I want to mix things up a little bit. Uh, you see, you got Resident Evil, you got Silent Hill. I'm a fan of both. But you know, if you actually look back into the past, you see Capcom made something that inspired Resident Evil, and you probably know it. But it's called Sweet Home. It's a pretty awesome game. It's a horror-themed RPG. Turn-based RPG, at that. And I'm a fan of turn-based RPGs, and I already like horror, and this is for the NES, so... You know, I'm excited to get this started, so why don't we just do that? It's an experience. Let's experience it. Now, I, I have to admit, I've beaten it a couple times. It's really confusing if you don't know what you're getting yourself into. But uh, I'm not going to change the names. We're just going to go straight into it. You'll probably see a lot of uh, a lot of things that may have influenced Resident Evil. Like, for instance, we got Matter. It's haunted. Um, This game was only released in Japan, so, you know, I'm actually playing it on a reprodu- or, well, one of those reproduction- reproduced cartridges. Got it at a convention. Not the point. Point is, Prep the camera. We're gonna do a thing. We're gonna go. We're, we're gonna go take pictures of a fresco. It's a type of painting, to my knowledge. Yeah, Mamiya's fresco. I, sorry if I'm butchering this Japanese uh, pronunciations. I'm terrible when it comes to. Oh, so much is going on right now. Door shut. <laughs> we got spooky stuff. You can't go to the exit. <laughs> And it's it, fools. Those who defile my home shall feel my wrath. We got spooky ghosts. What's going on? Well, you're trapped in a house. That's what's going on. So, anyways, now we're given control. We had a little introduction. We're we're trying to do a thing. We we got trapped in a house. We have to find the exit. And there's gotta be another exit. Yeah, there's gotta be a back door. It's a mansion, but you know, hey, I'm sure there's many different paths we can take. Also, remember, each of these guys has their tools. We got five guys. You can form a party of three, effectively having two teams. And so what I'm going to do, I'm going to team up Kazuo here with Asuka and Emmy. I think I'm pronouncing those right. I'm only going based on what I saw from the movie, because this game was released with a movie. Well... I guess, I don't know, it's, it's confusing. So, like, there's a movie and a game, they were released at the same time. We got five party members, we got five people, five teammates. Kazuo, Akiko, Taro, who uh, in the movie I believe was uh, Taguchi. Uh, future me, post, post the name, yeah, there you go. Uh, in this game, he'll be known as Taro, uh, at least, uh, whatever, Taro, Taro. Uh, Asuka, who, uh, who I'm always tempted to say as Asuka, and uh, Emmy. Each of them have a tool, as they said. Uh, some of them more useful than others. And that's enough of introductions. So basically, we got our two teams. We got we got a sharp glass. It's everywhere. You know what we do with sharp glass? We vacuum it up. That does not sound pleasant. That's why the vacuum sounds all messed up right there. You're vacuuming up glass. I don't think that's how that works, but, you know, regardless... You know, I don't know what's going on. Well, these guys don't. I do. I saw the movie. Which is... It, it's not... It, it's not like, uh, shot for shot based on everything. They're, this game is kind of more or less a loose adaptation. I, I have to say that, because, uh... There, there's differences. Anyways, we got a wax candle here. We're gonna take that. Right here, we got tonics. Or a tonic. 
tonic. They're good. They heal all your HP. They're like a potion. You can look at notes. And we got, uh, yeah, we got the fresco. That's why we're here, you know. We're trying to, we're trying to take a look at it. Uh, char, uh, it, it, whatever that guy, yeah. He made the frescoes. It's cool. So I do have to say, you can look at things. You know, it's it's old school NES like that. But to actually get items and stuff, you have to move them into your inventory and at the bottom of your inventory or like one of these guys that's how you equip weapons so this right here if you take a look that's a fresco that's what we're after you know we can look at it a fresco but how to preserve it we can't do anything you know unless you know you, you want to light it clean it or um key it whatever it don't matter it, it's that's what's gonna happen nothing happens on the other hand, we go to our other team. You see, we got Akiko. She has the med kit, which that's not really going to do anything. But Taro, Taro has a camera. So if you're thinking what I'm thinking, you want to look at it before you use it. And that's how you preserve it. You just go, you camera it, and then letters appear. If you're wondering how that works, it's, it's horror themed. They, they just do, and you get clues. But that's good, because, you know, we need that. And that fresco in particular said three three of them will unlock. Um, they'll give us clues. Three of them have clues. Anyways, Emmy here, she has a key. And this key is useful, because it'll unlock a lot of the doors. Not all of them, but a lot of them. And I'm aware I'm probably just explaining a lot, but... Let's take a look here. We got a note from Kenji. I don't know who Kenji is. The frescoes contain clues. I just said that. Group by date. Not important. We got a rope here. It's a barrier. I know what you're thinking. You, if you're like me, you're thinking tripwire. Or it, it's there to activate a trap, but no. It's just a barrier. Here's your lighter. Throw it up. Or light it up. Those little blue things, they're bad. They'll take your characters, they'll go to random places, and uh, they split up the team. That doesn't seem so bad now, but uh, you'll find out that they're pretty uh, pretty—they're pretty annoying. And not, they, they can cause a lot of problems. But anyways, yeah, there's more frescoes across, across the little chasm here. But we can't do anything because we don't have a way to get past that yet. We need a bridge. So, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get ourselves a bridge, get into our first fight. This is how the game works. You walk around a little bit, you run into fights, we got a wisp. I need to call the other team, because you can do that. You can totally call all five party members into a battle, and that's how you all level up equally. Highly recommend it, because, you know, you don't, want, you don't want your guys to die. Also, that guy just totally Use the status effect. Screen flashes blue. You, someone just got inflicted with some sort of um, thing, some sort of negative status effect. It's terrible. But that's okay. I can show you what another guy does, specifically a Kiko, because she has the med kit. She is probably the most important member of like the whole entire party. Not gonna lie. See, we defeated it, but um. Two of our guys, they're they're totally inflicted by curses. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the med kit. Curse lifted. And yeah, you don't really wanna walk too much, but there we go. Our curses are lifted. We're good. I wanna get back into this team. And if you're wondering why I set up the team, because you can essentially have any combination of party members as you want. Uh Kazoo. Asuka and Emmy, they're they're good for exploring. You see, uh, Kazuo here, he lights up rope barriers. Asuka, she vacuums sharp glass, and Emmy totally has a key to unlock stores. The other two are kind of more situational. But anyways, that little blood note right there, and this little item right here, well, another weapon. 
usually when you run into weapons, it's an upgrade of what you have, so, you know. You'll usually want to replace something that you already had. <clears throat> now, we also got wood here. Wood is interesting, because we've got two types of wood. We got this blue wood right here. It's good. It's good stuff. We got a... Oh, it's a doll. An evil doll. Okay, we gotta call everyone. This is crucial. This is super crucial. So when you call when you call another party member, generally what happens is you won't run into another battle. So it's like you can only have one battle at a time. On the other hand, uh, sometimes you'll have enemies on the field, and if they touch you, it'll actually end the call right there and then. So it can get a little annoying. I'll show you that when it happens, but um, not important right now. Just call everybody. Use a wax candle. Light up that. We got uh, something else over here. We passed by two on the way, but yeah, it's also wood. If you're, if you're wondering why there are two different types of woods, well, I'll show you. After we read this note, telling us one fell down but was pulled to safety. What does that mean? I don't know. What does it mean? Alright, let's use this. And it feels dangerous, but you know, we got, we got our team of three. Let's see. This right here is a spear. It's, it's better than the fruit knife and the silver knife, so we're going to take the oak spear. And there we go. There we go. I don't need that. I need to team up. No items are going to help her from that, but um, team up, she's safe. It's fine. So that that's, uh, that's the regular wood. On the other hand, if I can use it properly, regular wood... Gets us into a battle. Yeah, that's totally what that does. I'm not gonna lie, we'll probably run into a ton of enemies, cause uh you know, NES turn based RPG, that's that's what you do. Also, since our art the, since our other party members don't have a candle, they only see in darkness. Well, uh they they can't really see where they're going. It's it's bad. Anyways, now that we got everyone here, we'll go defeat the Swiss, and it'll be good. It'll be great. We don't have to worry about anything. And, uh, yeah, sometimes status effects don't work. Always nice, because, you know, they waste turn, you level up, which is very good, because, let me tell you, leveling up is very important. Your stats, your attack output, your HP, everything just multiplies. Also, I should totally, uh... You know what? Screw it. The movement is a little awkward. There we go. The movement is a little awkward. I just uh, I wanted to get every I wanted to get that wood. And also, uh, it's also really troubling to try to see where you're moving when it's uh, completely dark. Anyways, <laughs> so I'll try to I'll try to lead you into the to what you want, what you need, because I've done this several times. I know what I'm doing, or at least I say that, but truth is, you know, you're, you're probably questioning it all along the way. It's fine. Whatever happens, happens. I'm just, I'm just going to do what I know what I should do. I took notes. Uh, I guess besides that, I could probably talk about the movie. Because the movie, the movie is interesting. I, I can recommend it. It's not the best horror theme movie ever. It won't change your opinion, but I will say the graphics are pretty good. Like, they have a lot of creepy, uh, creepy stuff going on for it, so. So, in that regard, I can, I can recommend it. Other than that, I, it's kind of, it's kind of one of those things that it's, in itself, like, this game is kind of its own adapt own adaptation from the movie. So, it's, it's, it's a bit different. It's, uh, it is what it is. I need a Kiko to move just a little bit ahead so I can aim myself and pick up this wood. What do you mean? Do I have to, uh, okay. See, the movement is a little awkward, because I never know if I'm close enough. <laughs> 